Good day guys, so I just finished the stream If you don't watch the stream, watch it uh, It's probably gonna be yesterday But it is actually after the stream So I decided to record because I am intrigued to find out the storyline So, we're just gonna go for uh, reading the storyline I did skip this fight, there's so many fights Five battles and then it's gonna be another another fight but this time we got a little bit of storylines so yeah it's time for the reading part the thing that makes me keep engaging in this game is the story it's so brilliant uh, yeah it feels like reading visual novel I like kind of reading reading stuff all right the exits near we're almost there. Keep it up. Let's go. So, what's ahead of the exit? <gasps> oh. Yeah, that's the that's the barrier before like in Toho 7, in Toho PCB, this is the place we fought the Prism River sisters. Wow, we actually escaped the Netherworld. This air we're almost in Gensokyo. What's this huge door? It's the barrier of life and death. There you go, that's the name of it. An honorary barrier that most normally pass without even noticing. It's functioning properly here. Ah, is that the two backup dancers? Yes, this barrier of life and death serves its original purpose. To firmly separate the upper and lower worlds. This world's Miss Satono and Miss Mai. Wh what's the meaning of this? Why are you two here? The upper and lower worlds? I thought the bear of life and death separates uh, the dinner worlds from Gensokyo. Yeah, and it's a barrier in name only. It's a, it's a change. It's a kinch to bypass if you can fly. I'm fairly certain that we could only fly over it because it was weakened during the incident caused by Yuyuko. Either way, how could sages sit silent when there's a weird upper world, lower world border? Quit being so irresponsible. I think you have the wrong idea. We aren't doing this just for the fun of it. We've been following a sage's order from a get-go, from the get-go. I knew it. Is this why you tried to stop us, Yoma? Yes, that's... Uh, I mean, no. I knew nothing about any unsuitable gatekeepers. And, uh, well, it's not what you think. What? What? Exactly, yeah, what? <laughs> Forget all of what I just said. Yeah, you're trying to hide something. And we have Okina here, sitting on his fancy chair. So this day has finally arrived. I sure have waited long enough, but no matter, huh? And why are you here? What, you're popping up even a place like this now? For a secret god, you're quite the attention seeker. <laughs> I love Marissa. I've seen this god before, we even fought once. I remember she was pretty annoying for a god. And I bet she'll be just as annoying this time too. How dare you speak about our master in that manner? As if it wasn't disrespectful enough for you to come here with the corporeal form. Now, now, I want you both to remain silent. You are the gaps. Well, no wonder. You're confused. Were, not, were I not otherwise occupied, I would offer you tea and, exchange, and an exchange of information. Unfortunately, I have no intention of wasting my time so much uh, frivolities. I shall test your skills immediately. I trust you do not specialize any fighting styles, so pathetic as martial arts. What? How foolish of me. I will see for myself soon enough in battle. Satono, my. Each of you will take on two of them. Understood. Well, what happened to you? You two will be up against me. Don't be so rough. 
I'll be fighting you too. Come at me. And I shall be your adversary. Shikigami of the Gap. If my action displeases you, join them in fighting me. Miss Okina must know something important. She clearly does. She holds the information we want. We've got to win and make her cough it up. Alright. Don't know what happened. <laughs> what kind of secrets you have, Okina? Oh no, I think I need more powerful people. I don't have someone behind behind Moko. And this flipping music is awesome. What is that? What is this super rock? Rock AF music. Last word. 21,000 is not a thing. And it's only one wave also, you know, one wave. There's only one way. What? She's still alive. Alright. I don't bring any... Oh my god. Gorge burst. What does that even mean? What? Oh, I'm using my freaking last word. I don't know about this. What is this gorge ga gauge burst thing? You should be dead. 49,000, what was that? <laughs> Gauge burst. More like BS burst. Ah, oh, there's so many guests. I'm gonna put some powerful people here. Ugh, she's too strong. Come on, where's your backbone? You were so confident just a while ago. It's no surprise that you can't beat me. Not with my dancing behind me. See, I only position myself right to the rear of where she dances. Mai has the ability to draw out people's vitality by dancing behind them. So I'm always brimming with vigor. More than even a fairy, an embodiment of life energy can muster. That's odd. I should have more vitality than her. It's like she's reading our every move. Or rather, making us dance. To her own tune. Not exactly. I'm simply disrupting you every time you try to do something. I only fight directly behind where Satono dances. Satono's ability draws out the mental energy of people by dancing behind them. She keeps my thoughts in perfect order. There's no way I can lose to your sluggish minds. Ooh, quite arrogant. Your attempt to pass this gate with such paltry skills is laughable. I have nothing to tell you. Turn back. I'm actually beating you, Okina. <laughs> you mean to let this world perish? Regardless of the past, the Saigyo Ayakashi is going to bloom soon. You are weak. Nothing will change even if you, if you were to pass through this gate. You are not worthy of any information I may have to share. You should leave at once. Uh, now will she keep her mouth shut. And even if someone in the lower world knows something, we'll never meet them if we can't get through here. But if we can't win Miss Okina's approval. I was hoping to stay on the sidelines snapping pictures of the battle, but it looks like I've got to help after all. I only wanted to provide support, but I can't just stand by with things as they are. Oh ho? Oh ho? The Tengu and the Kappa, the two of you usually refuse to even hint at your abilities. You are the last resort. So I do hope you still remember how to fight. Moreover, beings like you, who have deviated from your original place and role, have no chance against me. She's so arrogant, what the hell? <laughs> Just now, they call you a sage. Oh, you noticed? Quite commendable for a kitsune. If I defeat you, will you answer our questions? Lady Ran, what happened between these two? Hehehe. <laughs> you have all gone astray, but very well. Show me what you are capable of. This is what I capable of, Okina. See this. Lady Ran, what happened? I'm sorry, Chen. Even I do not know if I can pull this off, but a Shikigami and a Sage, there must be something. Good, 
Very good. That doubt of yours is something genuine that you must embrace as a yokai. Hi. Good, 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 good. It's gonna gauge birds again. Yeah. Extra attack. What does that even mean? That's 68,000 damage. There you go. I think that's how you play now. The first will always be a surviving for, for them. This has gone on for long enough. The test is over. Let us be gone. My Satano. Understood. What do you mean, be gone? The hour hasn't struck yet. We should withdraw for now. We have to think of a way to defeat the stubborn sage. Well, now we're in real trouble. Just when we thought we'd found a way home, we encounter another fresh set of unknowns. Is it really the lost word that's causing this incident? Nothing adds up. Maybe we had it too easy up until now. We did get a lot of help from the people in the other parallel worlds, after all. In that case, perhaps we should ask around openly this time too. Now that you mention it, we haven't tried it yet. We've hardly had, a, had time to think. What with all the strange going on. And whom do you plan to ask? The secret god has the Shikigami, Tengu and Kappa, as confused as us. They are they're browsing Hakugyokuro's books for information right now. I'll ask them what they have found once they're done. They should take a rest and get some dinner at least. Anywho, if they are not an option, that leaves only one person. Yomu. And you haven't finished your meal yet? I thought you might already be done. Haha. <laughs> no, come and join us. In fact, we've been waiting for you. You are pursuing your own goals, which are different from ours. We've figured that much out already. Hmm. Reimu, so sharp. You knew about the barrier and Okina. That's why you were so unwilling to explore the bottom of the lake, right? What's more, you didn't want us to find out about them because it would inconvenience you in some way? Am I wrong? Man. Everyone. Yes, you are. I didn't withhold that information for my sake but because it would put you in danger. Ah, so you're saying it was all to protect us. I guess the arena would be in trouble if something were to happen to us. But what's the danger in us meeting Okina? It didn't seem like she meant to take our lives. Well, I don't think Yomu has any bad intention. I don't know, Miss Rabbit. We know that, Rabbit. But if she keeps hiding things from us, in the worst case scenario, it could spell our end. We have to recognize this as a genuine possibility. Ramus right. If the situation weren't grave, we wouldn't have had to beat Cherno, Lily, and Dayose. Hmm. How about we change the question, make it direct and to the point? Yomu, do you know about the lost word? The lost word? Miss Rabbit, how do you hear of this? So, you do know, things sure make things easier. We're traveling through worlds stricken by the lost word incident. Though, this is my first time. You travel through parallel worlds? I guess I should have said something earlier, but we might be a bit different from the other travelers you've encountered. It's all becoming clear to me. I get it now. Oh, you do? Great! So, about the lost word? You really had me fooled. What? <laughs> fooled? I don't expect you to tell me whether you're the masterminds behind it all, or merely collaborators. But now, I know what. I know that what they told me was true. Yomu? Excuse me. You're gonna kill me, wasn't it? What's wrong with her? Well, this is awkward. It seems we brought up a delicate subject. We're in a pickle, that's for sure. And with some questions to boot. Who this day she mentioned? 
the mysterious man it's it's so clear but at the same time it's also really really unclear i am interested i, I only came to the garden to clear my head oh they are here but i'd better not to disturb them they can't speak chino dayo say lily huh you really can't talk at all oh Say something, just a word. Stop that, Sunny. Tell me that is this isn't real. Sunny, there's surely a way to bring them back to normal. Ramus group is also looking for a solution. But first, we need to do something about that god Okina. She seems incredibly powerful though. Oh, sorry, that must have been a bit much to take in. Say, isn't it time to head to bed? Uh, I guess you can't understand what I'm saying. Bye. Oh, apparently they can. Yeah, they can understand. They just can't talk back. Can't communicate. Seems like they still comprehend simple things. As in, the kind of things that children would understand. Oh my god, that's so tragic. It's probably just a matter of time until even that is beyond them though. What really have to do some we really have to do something about that god. What do you think, Rabbit? Oh you knew I was here? There's no hiding from my ability. How exactly this did those to do that? Hmm. Through the transmission of invisible energy. It's somewhat similar to the light the light waves what are you saying it light is visible not necessarily there are various kinds of lights we can see is merely part of the whole spectrum oh i think i understand it's just like the presences i can sense it must be i read in a book that in the in the outside world various things are transmitted using invisible light waves and artificial stars I've also read about biorhythms. Damn, this is so difficult to read. <laughs> I'm gonna skip that. Were there any opponents you found troublesome? In our world? Hmm, let me think. We had trouble fighting a rabbit called Raisen during the incident when the moon was weird. Alright, it was because Miss Raisen could tamper with wavelengths. She was able to shut down our attacks based on light, sounds, and presence. The skill would sure come in handy now. But Miss Raisin isn't here. Hmm, what would be the key though? Well, there's no use in dwelling on it. We need to come up with a more readily available solution. Alright. Thanks, Miss Rabbit. I think we've got a good starting point for a strategy. Oh no, I didn't do anything. You're the key though, main character, please. Someone from Cheno's group might have told you the same thing. But we're going to defeat you. I heard those very words from Dayose. I'm sure you did. She's really something else. I have to protect Luna and Star and save Cheno, Dayose and Lily. Also, we've got to get back to our world. That you say had the same goal and even though even told you the same thing. You gonna lose Sunny Milk, let's be real. And then she lost to you all. I, I don't want you to think that what I'm about to say is declaration of defeat, but Yes. If we lose, our fate rests in your hands. Oh that's that's wise. That's wise of them. Alright, we're just gonna go to the episode 6. Yokai Lurk in the Dark. So, this should be giving some key about what the story is gonna be like. Sleeping Raymo. Oh, snoring. <laughs> Offerings. Still dreaming about money. No, I've had enough tea. 
I said I don't want it. Sakuya just sleeping soundly. Flying around so much must have been tired them out. Hi Yukari. You can't sleep? That's no surprise. It would be strange if you could, given the circumstances. Shouldn't you be sleeping too? I usually sleep all the time, so I'm fine. More importantly, have you learned anything new? We found Miss Okina, but nothing on the lost world. And we caused a misunderstanding with Yomu, but it's likely that she acting on someone's order. Exactly. Hmm. I did some research on my end too. This Okina you mentioned is the sage of this world. Simply speaking, she's a part of its maintenance system. She's neither friend nor foe. There's an entity that serves as a purpose. Hmm. Part of a system, but she spoke and acted like normal. Yes, in a broad sense, she's something like a Shikigami. I call it a substitute Shikigami. In the world, or a part of it like Gensokyo or the netherworld, or well, anywhere for that matter, being beings like her exist to maintain the order and rules of specific re regions and correct them so that they can function properly. Huh? What? So they are like Kina is carrying. Oh, I suppose there was a lot of dumb to you on you all at once. Let me explain again. So let's say, for example, the Scarlet Marissa. Yeah, the Marissa we met in the parallel world. That's right. In her case, she was the lost word, the cause of the world's end. Yet she was also the substitute Shikigami slowing down the end. Ah, oh, okay. The first world is gonna be Yukari, of course. In this world, beside Okina, Ran and Chen are also substitute Shikigami. Aya and Nitori play a similar, albeit more minor role. Does that mean there's a lost word causing all of this? Yes. The sub substitute Shikigami are like a bandage for a wound. The lost word, or sometimes a broken bone, is set wrong. Will investigating this world help us identify if identify its wound? Yes, I would assume to, though it won't be easy. Rabbit, I want you I want to ask you something. Alright? There's no deeper meaning behind this question. I just want to hear your answer. What will you do when you find the lost word of this world? I don't know. I'll recover it and return this world to normal. I'm back to the real Gensokyo. I see, I'm glad to hear that. I think I know that Yomu misunderstood. What? Oh, it doesn't concern you? Alright, I think it's time. Time? Yes. Time to wake up. <gasps> it's time for the hours! Oh no. How did Yukari know? Ah. That sounds of the bell is still eerie. That's how amazing it is. That they, they can design a sound like that. I believe there's gonna be super duper strong foe coming ahead. So probably this tree of fairy is gonna be a lot more tougher than before. The first round, martial arts, has already begun. It's Marissa and Sakia versus Star Sapphire and Luna Child. And over the other side, we have Reimu taking on Sunny Milk. Reimu's team is using the same tactics as the last time. They are taking defensive positions around Rabbit. The results of the drawing was the same as well. The match has started with martial arts. We'll be keeping a very close eye on the action. So they are also part of the 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 wound patch basically, but they do like minor things. I don't know what that means. It's still bugging my mind. 
My you Miss Yukari said their coverage has a meaning. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I see. So the commentaries are needed. So that's what my, my understanding here. Hey, Sakuya, how many times have we failed now? Judging from the number of my knives, well, over a hundred figures. But how can I still not hit them even when stopping time? No, I'll give it another try. Oh! They managed to dodge them. It's not working. Even though Sakuya is throwing her knives while stopping time, she just can't seem to hit her opponent. What's happening? Hmm, even if we assume Star Sapphire is using her ability to predict Sakuya's movement, the duration of Sakuya's time stop is fairly long. Reading muscle movements alone isn't enough to explain this. Huh? I never said anything about reading the movements of someone's muscle. My ability let me detect the presence of things that are moving. In other words, I can detect the movements inside one's head. Oh, what? Wouldn't that make her a Satori Yokai? Yeah, that's so weird, giving fairies that kind of power. How oh, incredibly cunning. What a shocking revelation, and yeah, she revealed things. She can read minds. Get this, according to, the lo to a book I once read, there's a great amount of a certain substance wriggling inside the brain. Yikes, that disgusting. Detecting its presence seems absurd, but maybe narrowing the target and range allows her to read thoughts. Of course, I've narrowed the range down to their thoughts regarding where they'll target us, and once I have a bearing, I forcefully interpret the fluctuation of our presence. Oh my god, so complex. But I think the role of Aya and Nitori to explain this kind of stuff. Shoot! Oh no. We're gonna lose. Ugh. And there we are, absolutely unable to read their movement at all. This battle is completely one-sided. After checking with the, re the referees, it seems Sakuya's knife throwing just barely qualifies as martial arts. If they win, the world's gonna end because I, I will get executed by Yomu as well, right? That means I'm holding the book, I'm holding the key, so yeah. There have previously have been competitors who use weapons, including ranged weapons after all. Hey, what about beams? Can I use my lasers? The referee says it's fine if the range is half of the arena, otherwise you'll be disqualified for violating the rules. Guess that means your usual Master Sparks is clearly off the table. No, uh, Master Spark is definitely a long distance attack. If I fire it from close up, it will be too imprecise to hit anything. Oh yeah? Well, it is still be way more effective than just a warning shot and your uh, haphazardly scattered knives. Whatever, we both know my knives far outclass those overblown laser blasts of yours. There's no time to be arguing. Rabbit, it's fine. Huh? Uh-huh. Saki and Marissa are having a falling out mind mid-match. Well, of course they are. They can't land a single blow on us. Our attacks may be light, but every single one is connected. It's only natural that get up. They are so arrogant, what the hell? <laughs> Looks like we win. Thanks for letting your guard down right here at the finish line. Jinx yourself with the last bit. Love sign, Master Spark! Wait, you can use Master Spark? What? She's fired from barely within the permitted range. Star, couldn't you read it? I couldn't, which means that you can relax because she wasn't aiming for us. Okay, she must have fired it off at random so that you couldn't read her thoughts. It must have missed even if we didn't dodge. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, it's also unaimed at you. Huh? She's scattering her shiny knives all over the place. Shiny, oh no. 
too late, I made my master spark mist on purpose so that it would reflect on the mirror surface of my knife. Ah! Of course, you can't predict reflection, right? They got us! Wow! Now this is what I would call proximity magic. Marissa and Sakia wild their way through the opponent's abilities. Bing! Stop fighting! Proceed to the battle of bullets! Win! We win! And just like that, the battle of bullets has begun. Let's use the technique that Yosei taught us. Uh, phew, we just barely eat eked out. What the hell is eked out? It's lucky we learned not to underestimate fairies from our last match. I wonder how Reimu is faring. Reimu's gonna be fine. So, oh, we all have them. So is this gonna be the moment of I'm not even using 10% of my power. Reimu, how are things on your end? W what? They're even? No, wait, it looks like only Reimu's taking damage. Oh no. Ah, ah, why are you here so early? Sunny Milk, are you really a fairy? Actually, not just you. I'm asking about all the fairies that have come from our, from your world. For starters, are fairies generally this knowledgeable about their abilities? This that doesn't sound possible to me. Anyway, you can't refract right. In other words, you can freely bend, and the transformation, the transmission of light. This allows you to make yourself invisible or create illusions. That must I get? In the world, are you di diverting not only my ofuda and needles, but even my punches and kicks? What's your trick? Hmm. I'm not sure you would understand even if I did explain it. Have you heard of radiation pressure? What? I thought so. Anyway, I can move objects by hitting them by light. That is impossible. How the hell are you gonna explain that? Not even Miss Marisa and Sakia can exchange that. Maybe it's time to give up. Don't make me laugh. You're alone. Against the three of us, you can't handle us all by yourself. That's a shrewd bet, Reimu. You feel Lux on your side. It's good that we settle our own match so quickly. I think you'd better be careful. Rabbit's right. If you think you've got me in a corner, you couldn't be more wrong. I don't think she's bluffing. She's got something planned. What are you up to? Unlike the fairies to your world, we haven't used our abilities for playing pranks. The way we use them, and in fact, we ourselves are much more advanced. You gonna revive them? Ah. Old school. What? Luna Child and Star Sapphire? But we just knocked them out. Yes, we did. Look, they're still lying over there behind them. That then what's going on? Is this some kind of shadow clone technique? I know you were sharp, Miss Reimu. This is very similar to the shadow clone technique. My ability refracts light, and I use it on Luna and Star, who are in fact fairies of light. Since we embody light, I refracted every uh, their very beings and then reconstituted them again into the fairies you see here. Make no sense at all, seriously. It's, uh, this is really forced. <laughs> so this is no empty threat. They have physical forms and can actually fight in the upcoming battle of bullets. Make no sense at all. Are they clones or double ginger, double double gangers, or maybe they're more like enshrined spirits? How can fairies be capable of all of this? These fairies know their nature and abilities almost too well. I can't help but be curious about their world. She brought back her fallen comrades. They're like zombies. Sunny milk, are you really okay with using such technique? Don't be ridiculous, of course I'm not. Even so, we have to win. 
It's about the fight with that strange god. I'm certain the three of us can win as long as we stay together. If we survive this match, we can break through that huge door. There's still hope, but we won't be able to coordinate with each other if we lose this fight and our ability to speak. That's why we have to win no matter what it takes. True. If Sunny Milk supports Luna Child starts a fire in the combo attack, then it's feasible. Whereas even if we win, we have no strategy in place against Okina. They must have thought of a strategy after our talk. Wow, really? So you should just give up now. There's no use in continuing this match when it's already decided. Nah, please. No. No, we'll fight to the bitter end. Reimu, does that mean you have a plan for beating Okina? Of course not. <laughs> but as a professional incident resolver, I can't simply give up here. <laughs> I thought as much. I also want you to look closely at Sunny Milk's face. Sure, the things she's saying are what she believes to be true. But that doesn't mean that it is the truth. Hey Sunny Milk, you're telling us now you're telling us how you feel, right? Sunny Milk's true feelings. Her wish to return home. Oh Silent. These fairies are so high maintenance. If you want us to believe your declaration of victory even though you're bluffing, you've got to say it with a smile on your face. I really want to know how this plays out, but we're at the end of the round. We'll have to see the rest of the Battle of Bullets. They, they can give the clue to us, you know, before they got executed. Hey Reimu, is it really okay to go charging in there without a plan? And here I thought you were all about brute forcing things. But to answer your question, yes, we didn't need plan. We don't need plans. Damn Reimu. I love Reimu is always so savage about things. Clones, they may have been, but they don't have the original skills and spell cards. So Sunny Milk's final plan was to hide the fact that she never had one to begin with, huh? Eh? Oh, Which means they're just bluffing then. <laughs> We still have a fight. I must say, I'm impressed. Even the likes of you can prove capable when it comes down to it. The strategy is for the three of you to work in tandem. Do you really think it will work on Okina? Our opponents can tamper with vitality and mental energy. Even if we work as a unit, they can make us all run amok. And when our movements grow dull, we will predict them with a sharp mental Acuity, so we will probably lose. Right, especially since you fairies are practically masses of pure life energy. Oh, do you already know that? It was just a hunch, but now she's confirmed it. So whichever of us wins, we would still be clueless about how to beat Okina anyways. What if there's a third quest? Third option? Really? Rabbit's right. An option where not just a single team remains, which means we gotta break the rules. Go to challenge Okina again without settling the match, so that the fairies can conduct their sabotage while we protect them by shouldering the brunt of the fighting. Oh! We're gonna break the rules? If we clearly assign roles and cooperate, we may pull it off. We also got a good grasp of each other's skills just now. Was that your intention all along? Sakya, can you speed up the recovery a bit? Please, do it on the way. Now, all we need... Now, all we need is for Ran to open a gap for us. Let's hurry up and beat Okina before the next hour strikes. If that's settled, let's be off immediately. Sunny Milk, come with us. Okay, sure. I can't let you do that. Yomu? It is as clear as day that Miss Sunnymilk's team has lost. 
does. I have to cut her before the next hour strikes. That's all. There is to it. But I apologize, Miss Sunny Milk, but you should have been prepared for this. Or has your heart wavered after seeing that false light? We can actually stop Yomu. No, it's just as you say. This is our loss. We are the ones who must be cut. I think we're gonna fight Yomu after this. I applaud your attitude. Hold on, Yomu. You don't have to do this. We will make it in time. Just let us go. Can you do this just this once? I cannot. If the hour strikes and the losers have yet to be cut, all is lost. Or what? Are you saying that you can guarantee that the price will be paid? No matter what happens before the next hour strikes, a sacrifice must be made to the Saigyo Aikashi. Yeah, do it. Forever. Fine, then cut me. Whoa. I guess the next match might come earlier since it's a little less than usual. But it's still better than nothing, right? What? What? What did you say? Oh, don't tell me. You can't cut me. Or, do you need something more to declare me the loser? If so, just name it. What can I do to satisfy that condition? Marissa, what are you? Raymu, calm down. You know that Marissa won't vanish on the spot, even if she is declared the loser. The fairies are crucial to our plan. And if you two cooperate, the team's attack and defense will be rock solid. A speedy resolution is what we need here, so your combo of skill and luck will be key of getting things done quickly. So I'm leaving it up to you guys. That includes you two, Rabbit. No! Marissa, Yomu, do it. Miss Marissa, all of you, what are you? Ugh. Chop, chop, there's no time. Yomu, do not hesitate. Nothing, com nothing good comes of it, only hours will pass. Your faith shan't be forgotten. Follow your path, horrifying though it may be. No, we're gonna sacrifice Marissa? Did you think me unaware of the problems you hold back from me? Do you think Yuyuko Saigyoji is so unobservant? No, such a thought has never crossed my mind. You always have been honest, Yomu. I trust that you, what you believe is right. Now then, do as your heart, your heart bids. I shall. Are you ready? Yes, now I will. Test your resolve. Yes, that means we're fighting then. Good. Let's get this over with. Let's go. Pretty intense, not gonna lie. So, what is it now, Yomu? What are you gonna do? <sighs> how about it, Yomu? I think you got a pretty good taste of how determined I am. I most certainly did. The resolve is unyielding. Now then, I'm sorry. What? No! Your determination. Miss Marissa is strong beyond a doubt. You never once gave up. It is most becoming of the winner of this match. Excuse me. No, Marissa's down. Oh, there's still a smile in Marissa's face back then. Wow. Kinda touching. So what is this? In a distant western country, fairies are perceived as spirits of Mizuko, miscarried or stillborn babies. No, maybe they are children who aren't fully or cogniz cognizant yet. What is this with words, dude? <laughs> or those who died before undergoing some rituals. In any case, there are souls who got lost on the way of the land of the dead. Just like ghosts. Isn't that fascinating? What are you talking about? 
Oh, nothing important. Paid no mind. We did well this time, once again. You struck the hour impeccably. Thanks to that, everyone must stay within a fixed radius of the arena. That which you hold dear remains unharmed. The Saigyo Ayakashi is kept fed. Your wish will soon be fulfilled. Ah, you are the problem, yo, it's the source of the problem. Although Ran and the other sages have become aware of Okina, they can do nothing in the little time that's left. At this rate, your wish will come true the next time. This is our goal, which is synonymous with resolving the incident. What is your wish? This is my first time in this world, so it'd be nice if you gave me some more details. But it's too late anyway, you can just tell me once it's all over. How about you reveal yourself to Yomu? It's hard to talk like this, not to mention you can in fact finally show yourself now. Perhaps you're right. <coughs> Fucking Yukari, of course. It's a different Yukari, different looking Yukari. I'm sorry to have kept you in suspense. Y you? <sighs> I appreciate your effort in remembering, but I'm not that. Or rather, I'm not only that. What do you mean? Though, this is inconvenient, so just think of me as Yukari Yakumo, the one beside this Reimu. Yukari is fine too. You're not Yukari? Lady Yukari. Right, you're Lady Yukari. But wait, you aren't. Oh, we're beings of another world. So there's no need for you to know anything about us. Nevertheless, I was able to take this form thanks to you. Take this meeting and conversation as a token of my gratitude. You are the mastermind behind this? The life you took from Rabbit proved its usefulness quite quickly. Rabbit's life, yes, you said you would need it, so it, I did my best to take it. That one strand of hair. Much like a suku, sukumogami dwelling inside a tomb, a single hair has life as long as one sees it as part of themselves. I analyzed it, and it was just as I predicted. This is her essence. No, her ability. And with that, you could regain that form? I fail to understand now. I fail to understand how. Oh, is that so? That's a shame. I've been working with you for such a long time too. But now, I know for certain that she is involved with the lost world. You do? As I told you before, this world here, your world, is in this state because of the lost world. And now, at last, we have found the suspect most likely to be the mastermind. The, master, the mastermind is me? We haven't found such a clue in all the worlds we have visited. We are finally one step closer to the core of the incident. Yomu, you've been waiting here all the time, which I imagine came from its own hardship. So while our positions and origins are different, we are still comrades. I hope we can remain so. No, please wait a moment. What? Miss Rabbit's party. Are they really behind the Lost World incident? I find it hard to believe. But you said yourself that they knew about the lost word, didn't you? Well, that's true. Yomu, I don't know what Rabbit and her companions told you, or how they approached you, but you can't let yourself be fooled so easily. I, I know. It's just, if everything as you say, it would, it also would make sense if you were the masterminds and Rabbit's group was trying to resolve the incident. Yeah, we resolved the incident multiple times. No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I don't mean to suspect you, now after all you've done. Apology accepted, 
I'm impressed with your emotional restraint and ability to avoid deception. Aren't you going to say something like death to the traitor? Are you trying to upset us? We aren't villains. Why would we say such a thing? That reasoning makes sense from your point of view, and we don't have the evidence to convince you otherwise yet. This is why I want to ask you. No, it's alright, just do what you think you should. What you believe you should. So confusing, man. It's not like there's anything we can do once you've started suspecting us anyway, is there? Right. Go back to Hakugyokuro then. And do not forget about what you hold there. Off you go now. Okay. Man, who are you guys? I'm sure it was okay to, help, to tell her all that, though it's very much like you to do so. Of course it's fine, after all. Or what? We did not tell her a single lie. Alright, you suspicious. You are so sus. Oh my god. New act coming soon? What? What do you mean by coming soon? I thought it's unreleased yet. My god. Alright, I think it's time for me to end the video. The story makes me even more confused than before. <laughs> Who are those uh, blue Reimu and those really weird looking Yukari? What is that? The Yukari looks like a freaking sombrero hat. But anyway, it becomes really spicy but still quite a lot of things I need to understand. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again in the next episode. Goodbye.